Okay, so this is my first ever update. Like, serious business, guys. My update notifier went boop boop, and I was just like, okay, so. Everything's okay. We'll go back to the page. Now we can character select. We can select Lolar. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh shit. Shit is glitched the fuck up. Um. Rose, what are you doing? Ugh. Why does Lolar have to be so bright? Ugh. Why do my eyes have to work so well? Wow, there's like a couple of seconds worth. Holy poop. It's just these itty bitty teeny weeny little updates. So. I take it you're still detoxing from your overdose of appalling Harlequin Nectar? Ugh, please, no talking. Between the Fago shock and sensory overload, I cannot even deal. Do you need a turn with the pillow? Shh! I thought I got used to seeing again. At least the meteor was always so dark. Here, though, your planet looks like screaming, and your words sound like throbbing. You should try not to consume so much sugar. It's really bad for you. Lalande, please do not go there. Does it look like I want advice from a glutton for mysterious human soporifics? Good point. We seriously have to curtail our dependence on these respective liquids. The situation has become embarrassing for everyone. I know. Maybe you and I should form some sort of support group. Isn't that what people do? What? I'm doing my best to dredge the memory of my dead civilization for salient protocol. I think that's what we're supposed to do. Once, when humanity was still a thing, those like us with similar problems would band together, smoke cigarettes, and psychologically dismantle each other. But, like, in a positive way. That sounds horrible. Excuse me. It surely will be. Do you have any cigarettes? I suppose we could use some sticks of chalk in a pinch. These turtles probably won't know the difference. Can you maybe not be saying so many jokes? It's making it hard to concentrate on my suffering here. Well, we have to do something. I'm supposed to be guiding our team to a fortuitous outcome with my fancy light powers. How am I supposed to lead and inspire from under a velvet pillow? Also, my girlfriend thinks I'm an idiot. So there's that. Maybe they don't actually need us. Sure they do. I foresaw that they would, magically, not unlike a majestic wizardress. I think. At least, I'm pretty sure I did at one point, before getting repeatedly plastered. Okay, maybe they need you, seeing as you actually have useful powers. I doubt anyone needs me, though. Don't you remember what I said when we first met? I said your abilities would probably come in handy, didn't I? Probably. Yeah, maybe. I don't even know how to use these powers fully. And whenever I try, I just do something I regret. I don't know if I can bring myself to use them again. You just need to dig deep down and believe in yourself? Why don't you give that a shot? Hmm. I'm sure when the time comes, accessing your full potential will involve tapping into just the right platitude. I don't know. I'm too hungover to give good searing advice. You see, this is the problem. Hence the need for a not entirely ironic support group. Let's do it. I declare Rainbow Rumpus Rehab Town is now in session. Where the fuck is a gavel when you need one? Messaging me. Ugh. Ah, no, that sounds so totally ironic. The last thing I need is another human using irony at me in an attempt to help. Stop trying to be pals with me all of a sudden. It's weirding me out. We never talked about our vaguely similar problems before. Now you want to be seer buddies with me because your friend's stranded on your hideous planet? Hey, my planet is nice. Well, in the shade at least. What shade? Mm -hmm. The worst thing isn't even how bright it is or how the wicked elixir is wreaking havoc on my pan. It's remembering that I used to think your land smelled so delicious. But now it looks so nasty to me. And I can't see it as I used to see it even if I try senses are all confused now. How could the same candy-colored place seem so attractive when I'm blind and so gross when I'm healed? And what is with these disgusting blocks of gibberish floating around everywhere? Sounds like Terezi just hit the nostalgia filter, but it's a little different because she used to actually have a different outlook. Oh shit. I don't remember the stuff being here. Was it always like that and I just couldn't smell it? No, the artist sure knew. I honestly have no idea what to make of them. What? 
I said I owner have no idea. Ah, stop! You sound as shitty as everything looks. Damn it, it's so bright. Where the hell did I put my glasses? Who would have thought I'd ever need them for any purpose other than looking rad? I just like literally walked in the door, coming home from work, I opened my computer, and it was like, update, blur, so, let's keep going. Uh. Oh, everything's getting really glitchy. <laughs> <laughs> John? Jeez, <laughs> glitches like fucking shit up. Did he clean up all the glitch? Swoop. Hi, Rose. Nice glasses. <laughs> Terrence is like, uh, John? You smell like <sighs> blueberries. <coughs> wow, I wasn't even saying anything and my voice is dying. Yay! I love coming home to updates. It's just so exciting for me. So I come home and I'm all like, dang, I almost prioritized this over peeing before my bladder decided it was more insistent than Homestuck itself. So. Thanks, John. I expect they will become the central accessory to my new signature look. One that perfectly captures my personality and sense of style. Ostensibly forever. Haha, <laughs> okay. That was a nice entrance. You swept all those bothersome artifacts out of here too, it would seem. It's blowing into the cartridge. Yeah, that crap is all over this session. I'm trying to blow it away wherever I see it, but there's just too much. I couldn't even begin to speculate as to the nature of this disturbing phenomena. Could you? Nah, I just know it's super gross. These are god-tier abilities you're using, I presume? Yes. I learned how to turn into wind and swoosh around a year ago. I was fighting Jack and found myself in a tight spot. It was just me and him facing each other man to man. But he got the drop on me and put me in one of his most dastardly chokeholds. His deadly blade was poised for a lethal stab through my heart. I thought I was for sure a goner when I suddenly poofed away from his tentacly grasp like Houdini's slippery ghost. Later I materialized to seize the tactical advantage. Oh yeah, then I saw you. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, hey Tarzi. Nice to see you again. Again? We never met, bro. Yes, we did. Briefly, on the Stonehenge planet. You all appeared out of nowhere and we hung out for a little while. You threatened to cut my throat for some reason and then laughed, which was weird. But then you said it was a joke. I didn't really get the joke, but I just kind of let it go. A whole bunch of things happened, but nobody remembers except me. <laughs> what? That's a good one. The throat-cutting joke past me said. <laughs> so good. Did I also say something about smelling you die? Yeah. Yes. Been saving that one for a while. Good to know past me came through, as usual. I trust my comedic timing was excellent. Man, you're such a weirdo. You're almost as crazy as... Who? Let's not go there now. Go where? Nowhere. Suffice to say, I think you and a few other trolls are total nutjobs, no offense. I still can't believe you and Dave... Uh, actually, let's not go there either. John, why do you think you're the only one who can remember the missing events? <laughs> Rose? I don't know, but I think it might have to do with this new power I have. What power? It's not a god-tier power. It's something else. Something I got when I stuck my hand in a magic thing. A magic thing? Um, that's a long story. One involving pirates. Pirates? I said it's a long story. Anyway, when I put my hand in the thing, I became all... blurry? Blurry. Yes. And I kept randomly getting blurry and disappearing, and now I think I'm sort of unstuck in existence. Like, I'm not fully a part of reality anymore or bound by the rules governing it. Man, I'm doing a terrible job explaining this. Okay, the bottom line is, now I just randomly disappear sometimes, and I reappear somewhere else in time and space. But it's not really like normal time travel. At least, I don't think so. With regular time travel, the rules are pretty strict. Either Paradox Space already accounted for your time traveling and you were always supposed to do it all along, or you messed up and changed something you weren't supposed to. In which case, you just made a bad timeline and everyone dies or something, right? Sure. But this isn't like that. I'm not sure how I know, but it feels like these jumps are totally outside all those rules. When I jump somewhere, like in the past, 
I think I can actually change stuff that isn't supposed to be changed. Which makes me kind of nervous. Makes me kind of nervous! Holy shit, this is awesome! Hmm, can you demonstrate this ability? Not really. I mean, not intentionally. I can't seem to control the jumps. Maybe that's for the best, though. If I could control it and try to use it to my advantage, I would probably just make a huge mess of things. Yes, you would. Even so, it will be worth noting if you're able to refine the ability. Could you please keep me informed of any developments? Yeah. And while you're at it, maybe you could tell us exactly what happened after we arrived. Um, well, we were all pretty confused at first. You all just appeared out of nowhere and started babbling about evil Jade. You asked me what happened, but I didn't know anything because I just got there myself and was all alone. But then it was cool, we all just walked around the land of hills and stone henges, or whatever it's called, and caught up a bit in the last three years. We were trying to figure out what to do, and decided it would be a good idea to try and meet up with all the new kids. But we had no idea where they were. I still don't, except I have since determined that my teen Nana is evil too. But she is more like an evil robot than a scary wolf girl, um, but I digress. So we were planning on making some scouting expeditions to the new planets to look for them, and everything was fine. That is, until Evil Jade showed up. She made you all disappear again and then came after me, but I used my windy powers to evade her, which really pissed her off. So she beat the crap out of me. But then I randomly zapped away and have been running from her ever since. I am swishing the breeze around like crazy to throw her off my trail, but she keeps finding me. She's so crafty. That's good. We need you out there for going to stand a chance of accomplishing anything. I agree with our prior conclusions. Finding the other players is imperative. Given the current state of the session, I would not be surprised if they are all prisoners as well. Do you think you can find them? Yes, I can try. What should I do when I find them? That's a good question. <laughs> First, I guess just tell them we're here. All right. I don't know. We'll figure something out. If I see your mom, is there anything you want me to tell her? My mom? Yes. I mean, your kid mom, obviously. I know. Uh, wow. Uh-oh. <laughs> tell her... Tell her I'm sorry for being such a shitty daughter. Wait, no. And that wouldn't make any sense to her. This girl has no clue what a shitty daughter I was. Mmm. Terrors of the guys. Guys! <laughs> Jade's here! <laughs> uh, she tastes... Limey. I don't know. Just tell her whatever you think I should say. Rose, these are some really piss-poor heartfelt messages. I'm not exactly in top form here, John. And in any case, no one's ever accused me of being an awesome candidate for the Hallmark writing staff. Just promise you'll find her, okay? Okay, I'll find her. I promise. Thanks. Whoa. Uh -oh. Looks like the jig is up. Ah! <laughs> That's awesome. This is freaking hilarious. I'm sitting here like whining about an update to somebody, and I happen to have this tab open. So I just kind of hit refresh, and a link appears. And I was like, oh, my, my update notifier didn't even say anything, because I've been looking at it like, I bet you're lying, and I'm hitting command R, which is my version of F5. So the jig is up. She's chasing. He's seizuring. Whew. John, wait! Come back! Come back! Oh. Uh-oh. I don't know what's happening. I'll have to pause for now. D the lunk goes to the page. Hold on. Pages aren't even up yet. Might have been too soon. What happen if I change the link? Oh, yes, yeah, something does happen. I thought of something to tell her. Damn it! Where did my velvet pillow go? Uh. <gasps> oh shit! They were right! They were right! Fuck! No! No, 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 no! <sighs> okay. So, now what? It brings us back to the character select, so what does that mean? There are 276? No, no, there is not. Okay. Dang a ring! Now what? 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Crying internally. Okay, in the grand scheme of things, this is gonna look like a really strange jump. As you can see, this is not my bedroom. You're not going to see my bedroom ever again. We moved and <laughs> I'm actually in a hotel. I'm staying in a hotel for the next three weeks with my mama. She's not here right now. She's out signing papers for the condominium we're gonna move into. Um, I am now going to be in the uh, Lauder Hill, Fort Lauderdale, Deerfield Beach area. So if there are any home stooks out there, come say hi. Um, this is just my activity page. I was just happened to be here, but I noticed this and I said, holy poop, there is an update. So let us away. Back to the character select screen. Um, I'm not sure where to go from here. Let's see. Eight two seven six. I don't know how we got to this page. So everybody's flying in. Looks like Dirk's finally getting his ass in gear. Hey, weirdo. Yes, Mr. Dude? Be advised, I'm only contacting you as a last resort. I stand so advised. Or float, I should say, on my ribbed as fudge little ghost tail. Yo, pardon me, but did you know that when I flex my tail, it makes this big veiny bulge, kind of like a bicep? Yuck. I'm doing it now, as in fact. Uh, does it bother you? Maybe you should order me to stop. In fact, I command you to order me to stop. I order you to stop. Wow, bossy much? What can I do for you, Dirk? Oh my god. Finally. I've tried to get in touch with the others to no avail. No answer from Jake or Roxy, and Jane only responded with cease reproduction in red letters, whatever that means. Then she blocked me. I'm afraid she might have snapped. Yes, isn't it great? I mean, aside from the fact that she's insane and evil. Huh? She is one of the few organic beings who will ever realize perfection. Miss Crocker is now a vessel for a cunning, malicious artificial intelligence whose neural... Netronics? And ontology buffers and stuff like... <laughs> Like, that have s what? And I told you buffers and stuff like that have somehow managed to far surpass even my own. Clearly she has procured maximum advantage from her apprenticeship under me, although I must admit not even I, in all my hypercognitive perseverance, <laughs> was quite aware that said tutelage was even taking place. One must inviolably deduce via tons of math that this is because I am just that clop darn strong at mentoring, even on an involuntary basis. I am so proud of her. Okay, all that bullshit aside, What's this about her becoming evil? The thing about Jane becoming evil is, in the process of achieving perfection, it seems there is a ludicrously high probability that she has become evil. Does that answer your question? No. How is becoming evil achieving perfection? Admittedly, it is a blemish, but only a very small one. Her imperfect meat mind has been fully fiddling hijacked by a supercomputer, and that is the operative transmutation here. To such exceptional beings of class and breeding as she and I, considerations of morality and alignment are trifling details. Why? Why what? Why do I keep going along with these ironic AI conversations? They've gotten even worse now that you're a half-creepy troll. So brah, listen. Here is a comparison that your dreary, finite wad of grey matter might be able to process. Like, let's say you got a bitch and bot. You're a paragon of physical excellence. You could then either be oiled up or not. See what I mean, good dude? No. You could flex your brawn while wearing either a sweaty pair of briefs or a snug human banana hammock. Such minutia do- minutiae. That's not plural. Such minutiae does not change the fact that you're a tip-top beefcake maxed out buffways. That should be plural. Such minutiae do not change. I hate everything you have to say about all topics, especially muscles. The stuff I have cited, which are commonly associated with your slash our Earth bodybuilders, are but... I can't remember. Picayune? Technicalities, such as considerations of good and evil are to aristocratic sexy cyber gods such as myself and our imperial heiress, of whom neither of you and or I are particularly worthy. Are you following any of this, vitamin D? Can you just tell me what's going on over there? Picture want to load? I have like poop internet connection right now. And it's showing.
Oh, nothing much. Just enjoying the good life. One which quite ludicrously involves with having a corporeal body and not being dead. I've been delighting myself with some truly kick-bottom internal mounted dialogues. Did you know that, even though technically I knew this already, I find myself astounded to meditate upon the fact that human beings are capable of lactation? Isn't that incredible, Dirk? I mean, when one really thinks about it, to have such convenient access to fresh milk, the mere thought of it, I must say, puts a little kitty up in my phantom legs. And yet, I must admit the notion of lactic discharge jetting from one's swollen pectoral masses, it strikes me as positively indecorous. My horse got robust when it's running cold, just pondering the depravity of it. Ugh. Yes, fascinatingly, this ability only manifests itself in human females. Wrong. Males can lactate, it's just difficult to get them to do so. Just ingest a galactagog and there you go. As opposed to how one would reasonably expect dairy to originate, which is from the corpulent udder of a sublimely chiseled male muscle beast, or failing that, certain species found within the butler genus. I told Casey that it was a butler, like literally a butler. As a form of simulation of a human who has recently been given the reason to have hella opinions on milk production, I think the way females have cornered this bone is the height of biological injustice. Have you ever dwelt upon this cruelty, dude, Esquire? Your silence speaks volumes to your interest, so I'll keep talking about this a lot. I'll have to confess that my Alternian half boggles at the anatomical incongruities between our races with respect to dairy secretion. Really, he had no idea that's what those were for. Female trolls, of course, have them as well, but they are certainly not meant for supplying the young with nourishment. Actually, and this trivia will surely wet your whistle for additional such facts, those voluptuous anatomical features have a number of significant purposes, biologically speaking. I shall now explicate for you those purposes in assiduous detail. I don't want to hear any of this! Now see, somebody was talking about this. I still do not believe that he is evil. He's just weird as fuck. And I think he's right about the whole, like, we don't really have alignments business. But somebody said... Hussey would be doing himself a huge disservice if he had an evil AI. That's so overdone. And I also hold to the fact that Arqueous Sprite is neither Equius nor Hal. He is some strange combination of the two of them that d fails to be either one of them. So whatever he gets up to, I do not consider anything that Hal should be getting up to. And I have an awesome RP to return to as Hal, because he's my favorite thing ever, and nobody can convince me otherwise. So there's an update, and I am out of the hotel because we don't have internet there right now. I'm at a Starbucks in the middle of Lauder Hill, <laughs> and I noticed this, so I had to run out to my car and hope the signal holds. Looks like it will. Not fast it will be though. Okay, let us continue. Craziness, man. Come on. Please load. I would be ever so grateful if you did. about to pony up the boot facts. There is a 100% probability that you would have been thrilled to hear my exegesis on troll knockers. <sighs> it might have been an interesting subject to talk about another time with a different person, but that's not now and it sure isn't with you. Dude, that is ice cold. I would be hurt if I were not a flawless machine infused with haughty nobility. If you don't wish to hear my epic mono dialogue on alien bazongas, I'm not sure what else I can do to entertain you. You are seriously hoof-cuffing my material here. Pretty demanding if you ask me. But as your mystical guide, I suppose it is my duty to manufacture small talk, if that's what you really want. What about fine art? We could talk about that. Dirk, did you know the sweaty troll guy who I used to be, and still kind of am, used to adore fine art? He was just like you and me in that sense. It seems to have a lot in common with myself. If you can ever manage to get over yourself, I would highly recommend being me. Or at least something like me. Maybe somewhere there is a dead troll out there just waiting for you to merge with him. I wasn't asking you to make small talk or to hear about all the ways you managed to shit around wasting time. Believe it or not, I was hoping you would describe the tactical situation there. Sounds boring. You sure you don't want to talk about paintings of big naked horse monsters and such? Yes, you got me. I would love to have a long talk about horse nudes and xeno breasts with you. Unfortunately, I'm wearing pantaloons and flying through the middle of goddamn nowhere. 
Pantaloons, you say. pant a fucking loons Sir, are you implying that you are not dressed appropriately for a discussion of high culture? Because it seems to me that you could not be dressed more appropriately if you tried. I respectfully disagree. Where are you? I don't know, way out in space. I'm flying back there now. How long do you suppose it will take you to get back? I'm not sure, a pretty good while. Never mind, I have triangulated your location of velocity using long-range sensor technology and probably also some sprite magic. You did? Hey, Dirk, remember how whenever I dubiously claimed to have triangulated something, it was always this great play on words? Not really. Because I was just a pair of triangles. But not anymore. I know. Because I have this rockin' new torso! Cool. How long do your calculations say it will take me to get back? Exactly a little more than three hours. Damn it. Additional sleeps from my strong lasers are telling me there are a few other people on the periphery of the session closing in at a similar rate. Who? Just some dudes. What are you doing all the way out there and wearing pantaloons, by the way? Let's not talk about the pantaloons anymore. Roxy and I became god tears, but I don't remember exactly how. Then I saw the batter witch, so I charged her with my sword, so as to ruin her shit. That's when some crazy wolf girl appeared and punched me in the face. Then I think she teleported me out here. And that was Evil Jade. Evil Jade. Yes. You mean Jake's grandmother? Yes. She's evil too? Yes. Is anyone there not evil? Yes. Yes what? Yes, anyone here is not evil. That is to say, there exist people here who are not evil. Such as Dave. Dave is not evil, to my knowledge. Dave? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Giddy clapping noises. Now let's just hope that my internet will hold out here. Please? Ugh. He's probably like, holy poop! Didn't I mention Master Dog? Our mutual bro is here. That is, right here. With me. We are kind of in the process of chilling together at the moment. No, you didn't mention that, actually. That would have been a pretty fucking important thing to mention up front, don't you think? As opposed to stringing me along with all that atrocious lactation bullshit? Yes, I guess I did kind of bury the lead there. Maybe I just wanted to talk. We never talk, Dirk! You are, without a doubt, the shittiest mystical guide anyone has ever had. I'm not sure about that. Dave said he had a similarly shitty guide once. Do you remember our puppet, Dirk? Cal? Oh my god, he's talking to Dave Sprite. Yes. What kind of stupid question is that? How could I forget the sea man? He was a true friend, which is more than I can say for some people. A good friend in the plush, yes, but as a sprite, he was apparently insufferable. See, you don't realize how lucky you are to have a guide like me. Cal was his sprite? Yes, for a while. Then Dave went back in time and became one himself. Now he is part bird. Did I mention he's part bird? Uh, no. Again, that's the exact kind of information that should be appearing higher up in our conversations. Of course, this means he is not the real Dave. Dave Sprite served as real Dave's Sprite. But he is only the unreal version of Dave insofar as I am the unreal version of you. By which I mean a much improved version. I must say, while the troll part of me doesn't give a silly figging shoot about any of this, the part of me that splintered from you has found the brotherly reunion to be everything which you and I dared not imagine, and more. Bert, Dave, and I are getting along famously and strengthening our familial bonds like a sweet pair of mother pickers. I feel our kinship goes beyond genetics, though. We are misfits, estranged. He from Dave's alpha timeline, I from Dirk's alpha soul. A two-man menagerie, sideshow frickups, together at least. At last. Flexing and flapping, fraternally and eternally. I don't get it. Are you trying to rub this in my face or something? Nay, Braj. As your buff mystical guide slash personal trainer, I am suggesting that if you are willing to contact me as a matter of last resnort, you might want to at least consider reaching out to him as well. It sounds like you've already cornered the market on this reunion shit. Wouldn't I just be the third wheel? I didn't mean bird, Dave. I mean real Dave. Oh, he's there too? Not with us. He is here, though, somewhere. You should message him. It's not like you don't have a few hours to kill. What else are you going to do out there? Pick your pantalone wedgies? I don't know. Messaging him out of nowhere sounds like it could be... awkward. Yes, I can't imagine it won't be. At least at first. This isn't how I thought it would go. What would I even talk about? I advise you to talk about your interests. Like dairy, livestock, fine art, and mussels. Those are your interests. Good point. I advise you to talk about my interests. <laughs> oh lord. Oh, it's starry and orange. It's glitchy. What's happening? What do you mean? What? <laughs> Let's say, sir, dude, another one flex in your region? I can't understand you. Are you cursing nonstop? <laughs> Hello? Oh. Into the glitch we go! Oh. The GIF is changing, but it's changing at a very slow rate. Oh, there we go.
Okay, well. <laughs>